In our health alert tonight is fasting the fountain of youth. Research certainly seems to be pointing in that direction, but is it too good to be true? Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now. And doctor, what is the research on fasting? Salon, you know, there's several studies. Some involve humans and others involve animals. Now, Alan, the animal research has shown that fasting mice actually do much better than non-fasting mice. Now, one study in particular found that they were healthier and lived longer when compared to mice who could eat whenever they wanted to. But listen, we're not mice, right? So let's look at a recent study involving humans that took part in a fasting mimicking diet. For five days, they ate between 800 and 1100 calories. They did this once a month for three months, and they ended up losing belly fat. Their fasting blood glucose levels returned to normal, and their cholesterol and triglyceride numbers dropped, as did their levels for uh, one a GF1, and, and this is a marker for different cancers. So pretty promising results. Sounds pretty good. Does that equal longer life, Dr. Nandy? So Glenn, is certainly lowering your risk for diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and cancer would be very beneficial and potentially lead to a longer life. However, diseases are complicated and the environment we live in, plus our genetics can also affect long-term health. Basically, you can be healthy, but still have a short life, so longevity is still up in the air. All right, I've been thinking about fasting now for some time now. Overall, it sounds pretty positive, but is it too good to be true, and is there a catch? There's always something there, right, Alan? So as promising as these intermittent fasting studies are, there are some concerns. The main one is that the studies are short-term, so we don't know if there are any long-term positive or negative health effects. There's also the possibility of, guess what, eating more on the non-fasting days, which could mean no health gains whatsoever. I know many people are looking for an easy fix or that miracle pill, right, to make them healthy and extend their, their lifespan, but so far nothing beats the usual eating healthy, and uh, this includes eating fruits and vegetables and healthy fats, and really exercising regularly because a sedentary lifestyle has been shown many times to be linked to many chronic health conditions. So stay tuned, more, we'll, we'll, we'll stay tuned and see if there's any more information on this intermittent fasting. Not eating doesn't sound so good. I know, good. it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's not sustainable. All right, right. Dr. Nandy, thank you so much. And if you have a question or health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter and we'll get it right to him.